The History Center is also the organizer of the Summertime on the Center Common series. For the last three years, children have been welcomed to the History Center for family fun with puppets, magic, and music. Local favorite Stacy Peasley was the featured performer last week. Playing to a packed house of the under eight crowd, Peasley had everyone clapping and singing along. Having three children of her own gives the local musician plenty of inspiration. From bubbles to summer days, Stacy's music has broad appeal with all types of families. So today at the Framingham History Center, we have Stacy Peasley uh, performing in a free show for children. It's part of our Summertime on the Center Common series, which is funded by Eastern Bank. Um, today is the fourth program out of five that we started mid-July. Um, all of the programs are free. It's been something a little bit different every day, uh, but Stacy's specialty is children's music, so we expect to have a lot of fun today. We felt that it was important to try to get more families in at an even earlier age, introduce them to the History Center, introduce them to um, beautiful historic architecture, and that the free summertime programs are a really good way to be able to do that. It started after the birth of my first daughter. Um, I was a, a singer in adult bands for a long time, and once I had children, it was a little difficult to continue in that career path, but I would take my daughter to libraries and sing-alongs and see how much fun we had and also how much fun everybody else was having, like today. And I thought, this, is, I, this, this, uh, this feels right. Like, this, there's something here that I want to be a part of. And, um, before I had my children, I was also a middle school teacher, so I've been working with kids since I'm like 22, 23 years old, um, so I've always really enjoyed being with, being with young people. So I think the arts are so important to young people, and I think we're in a, such a great community that values the arts and puts on shows for children and families. I think young kids respond to music naturally from the time they're like even, you know, six months old. I've done music classes where nine-month-olds are bouncing on their, their mommy's laps and on their knees to the beat, um, to hearing a singing voice, whether it's a professional or, or a non-professional, a parent, a family member, a teacher. Playing an instrument clearly has so many benefits mathematically, and it, it just touches every aspect of the brain, being involved in the arts and music. So I think it's such an important, such an important thing for kids. It makes me feel even more like valid on this is what this is my purpose, this is what I'm meant to do um, when I connect with the kids and they're, you know, I feel every kid responds a little differently to music. Some are comfortable acting, acting out, you know, whatever we're doing and singing and some kind of like to just sit back and watch, but I can see in their eyes, they're watching me, they're watching the other kids, so, so they're still taking it in even if they're not comfortable partaking in the movement because some kids are a little shy um, or want to be close to their caretaker versus coming up in front of the stage. So I love seeing the kids who are active with me, but then I also love seeing um, you know, the twinkle in the eyes of the kids who are, who are staying close to their caregiver, maybe not participating, but still watching everybody and absorbing what's going on and taking it all in. The History Center is a wonderful place for families. They have great programs. This summer, the kids' programs are at the perfect time. And uh, my two little ones here love Stacy, so we decided to come and listen to her.